Right, so this is the tar. Do you hear that? Do you hear the da 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 da? And sometimes just da. That's what you should hear. Not. Not that. So the. It, it, this is really good, all right? So it could be a lot worse, but if you go there. So when you've got the Taranucci, so if you put your ken, when you've got the Taranucci, you should look at your ken, and as you cut it down, because it's rubber, it might jump to the left, it might jump to the right. So these are all things that if you've got a Taranucci, or you try at any stage, these are things you'll see, or you'll get, you'll get this. The thing to do is, you, since he said you squeeze it like, like wringing water out of a towel at the very end, so you go squeeze. You then have a little injection going forward. All right, so you don't just cut it down, but you squeeze. You feel the difference in the... All right, so if you just go down, is that. If you go forward, is that. Has more power in going forward because it becomes like a slice. All right, so it mustn't go to the left. It mustn't go to the right. It mustn't bounce. I used to have a, a, a young student, 19 years of age. He used to hit the tar and keep in it and you could see the tar sort of veed. Most people that hit the tar, it sort of like took them back. So that what you then take from it is, you now use the bounce from the tar. And this is really what we've been talking about this morning in Aikido. We use, like I was timing with the partner, when I hit that, I'm going to use that energy to get the ken up there. If I go like that and now mechanically do this, this is what I call basic school. Ah! You feel the difference in the power. <laughs> so you have to work out. Ah! Are you out of breath? You know, did you put ah! everything into the cut? Or ah! Or can you use the power that the first one gave you? So the Taranucci is not just the tar that you whack away thinking it's going to make your hips strong. And then somebody asked me about in the 31 Carter, five, six, seven, eight. If I take this energy, then you can do in the 31 Carter, without going like this. Five, six, seven, eight. You know, one's mechanical, physical, the other one is energized. And then you, you start learning hapogiri, different directions. Because, you know, I was talking about sensing, spiritual and that. You're in a dimension where time isn't thought of or time isn't, well, I don't know about isn't available. <coughs> All right, so you do the footwork. Ah! And then you just do it. And of course, I ain't got time to talk, have I? I ain't got time to think. It's just, so, but I'm, I'm working on, oh, the bounce. I'm working on the, oh, 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 oh. So I'm having to demonstrate by pretending the bounce is there. So I'm putting the bounce in. 
but really the bounce is uh, created by the Tavernucci. Right, so I hope I've given you a bit of an insight in that. Uh, sorry. Hey! When you do that, if you're too focused on just the cut, hey, you'll be stuck here. If you're thinking of the Tavernucci, ah! <laughs> you can keep flowing. Okay, thank you, Domo. Does anybody have any questions while you're there? Not about that, about anything, you know? Roses, pruning roses, or... <laughs> <laughs> but um, perhaps you didn't know about the, you know, perhaps you didn't know about the Tavernucci. Uh, Sensei, I, I have a question. Yeah. Um, just, just when you were, uh, earlier when, when you were talking about the uh, sensing, uh, where, what are your thoughts on the breathing during the, um, well, during each of the techniques, but also on, on the book as well? Yeah, that's a good question, isn't it? Is our breathing, is our breathing correct or not what the biggest problem is we don't realize when we're holding our breath what a big problem I've got with uh, Iwama students is they go hey hey I'm going why are they key on after the it's a little bit like saying I need that coal shoveling over here so you go over there and you go Oh, I've got to get the shovel, haven't I? It's like, I need the breath. Watch, watch the O Sensi, um, watch the O Sensi videos. <laughs> hey, ah! <laughs> you know, you need the breath to do the technique. Oh, come on. Ah! If I key eye afterwards, Sorry. Hey! Hey! It's not. So I don't know why they do it. They all say to me, oh, we were taught that anyway. And I go, yeah, well, I don't like it. I've always been a rebel. I've always been an individual. If I'm going to be. Hey! That's when I need the breath. <laughs> when I need it. Ah! <laughs> why would I. Look, you can do without breath. <laughs> you can do it without breath, but then that's, you're going into mind power. You're going into telepathy. You're going into mind power. Why is he falling down? He doesn't know. What I'm doing is, I'm, I've already focused on him, like I'll focus on you. So if I focus on you, but I can still focus on him. So now I've got two, I've got focus. I focus on Jenny, so now I've got three. I can focus on Dominique, so I've got four. So you're all now plugged into me. So when he comes, I'll try and explain this. When he comes, I don't just softly go over here and go, oh, I can't, nothing happening. But if I go, I had to get in his head and sense him. It's almost like I had to go, well, this is just, this is just my, this is just my hand, you know? But if I go with my mind, it's almost like you're pushing air. That's the only way I could describe it to you. It's like I'm pushing air. And if you do this with your hands, you can actually feel what I mean about condensing air. So, you know, you can try it by all means. You know, I don't always talk about this stuff. Sometimes I do. But if you can feel this condensing of air between your two hands, is it condensing air or is it condensing your energy? So when I do this, it's a measured point over him. And it's a measured point. I mustn't go further or else it will, the space will be too great. Too complicated really, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, uh, 
That's when, when you see O-Sensei, you see, how are you going to learn that? If you, you've got to watch O-Sensei and you've got to try and get inside him. You're watching a film and you've got to go, what's he doing? How is he, how is he, how's O-Sensei been able to do that, throw them down? You know, how's O-Sensei been able to go, how can he control that? How can he get them, how can he make that, per, you know, this, Big, strong man, how can he make him just fall down like that? The physical side, we've got a connection, but mentally, mentally, here, look. At so that's mental and physical. So what I've done over the years, I've tried to get inside what I think O'Sense is doing, and then I've thought about, ah, but he used to sit a lot and do meditation, didn't he? And I don't believe in religion, so I'm not going to go down that track, but I'm going to try and do as many things as he done. So he would sit, and I know that as we all sit, if you just sit there and go, what am I supposed to think about? You're thinking too hard. If you go, I'm just going to breathe out and try and think of nothing. Oh, I think something's coming in now. Thank you. I, I just want to be, think of nothing. That space is what I obtain before I do what I've just shown you. I have a space, I, have, I obtain a space of nothingness, only calmness and peace. When you do that correctly, you're more powerful than ever. <coughs> All right, so you see it as an action, but it can be a... There's this one. You take it. And you add, right, okay. So I don't know if that answered your question. It was a long, long answer, wasn't it? So what I'm doing is perhaps different to what you're doing, but if you do the mechanical things, follow your own beliefs, follow your own paths, at the end of it, well, hopefully it's not my end yet, but when you get down the end of my line, you'll know whether it, your path worked out right or not. You can't, you know, oh, I don't believe in all that crap. You know, if that's what you want to believe, don't want to believe in it, you might be better at Aikido than anybody. 